हाय आई एम डॉक्टर यशवंत माने डायरेक्टर अथर्व इनफर्टिलिटी सेंटर नासिक टुडे वील बी डिस्कसिंग ऑन फाइब्रॉइड्स टू बिगिन विथ वील लाइक टू स्टार्ट इन वॉट आर फाइब्रॉइड्स वेर आर दे लोकेटेड एंड हाउ डज इट अफेक्ट द फर्टिलिटी आउटकम इन अ फीमेल ना वॉट आर फाइब्रॉइड्स फाइब्रॉइड्स आर बेसिकली सॉफ्ट टिश्यू ट्यूमर्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द यूट्रस एंड दे कुड बी मल्टीपल इन नंबर and they could be located in the subserosa intramural or the submucosal lo- location of the uterus and they could be of varying sizes now the most important thing is are fibroid cancerous the answer is no majority of the fibroids they are non cancerous in origin but in very very few cases fibroids tend to undergo some malignant change if the fibroids are rapidly growing in size if the fibroids they have a irregular uh, contour and they have some amount of pain These patients are uh, at high risk for developing fibroids in the uterus majority of the females who are in the reproductive age group in the age of 30 to 40 are at high risk for developing fibroids patients who are obese patients who are on certain drugs tend to have developing fibroids in the uterus patients who have a family history they also tend to develop fibroids in the reproductive age group now the most important thing is how to diagnose fibroids the most important uh, thing in a diagnosis of fibroid is majority of the fibroids are asymptomatic the patient doesn't know that she is having fibroids in the uterus fibroids are usually an incidental finding in majority of the patients when a female visits a gynecologist gynecologist by doing a internal examination and a per abdominal examination diagnoses the patient is having fibroid uterus if the patient is in reproductive age group the patient may complain symptoms like heavy menstrual bleeding pain during menses and infertility so what is the best way to diagnose fibroids a thorough physical examination is the most basic part in diagnosis of fibroids like a internal examination and a abdominal examination will definitely help in diagnosis in diagnosis of fibroid the most important diagnostic tool for diagnosis of fibroid is a ultrasound if the clinic is equipped with a 3d and a 4d ultrasound then it's very easy and it's very nice that the fibroids could be located and there could be a fibroid ma- mapping in the uterus like in mapping of the uterus we tend to see and mark the fibroids in number in the size and the location if the fibroids are too close to the endometrial cavity or if they are encroaching upon the endometrial cavity these are the fibroids which require immediate surgical intervention if the fibroids are single if they are intramural or subserosal and if they are away from the endometrial cavity they usually don't require any medical treatment if the fibroid is more than 5 cm and even if it is asymptomatic these fibroids they have a tendency to grow at a rapid pace in the unforeseen future so these are the fibroids which require medical or surgical treatment the other most common symptoms the patient present with fibroids are the effects of fibroids on the bladder when the fib when the fibroids grow in size the position of the uterus is such a way that's antiverted and antiflexed the heavy weight of the fibroid falls upon the bladder and it can cause bladder symptoms in the form of increased frequency of micturition in some cases retention of urine and in some cases the patient presents with repeated urinary infections if the fibroid is at the back side of the uterus the weight of the uterus can impart the colonic emptying and these patients present with constipation also the medical treatment can be broadly classified into the surgical uh, treatment and the medical treatment but in fibroids the first choice of treatment is the surgery in surgery the best possible uh, treatment approach is laparoscopy or hysteroscopic myomectomy in this procedure a simple scope is inserted into abdomen and the fibroids are located and the fibroids are inoculated from their location if the fibroids are intramural through a hysteroscope the uh, 
instruments are inserted inside the uterine cavity and the fibroids are removed. This is the surgical uh, line uh, of treatment for fibroids. The surgical procedure could involve removal of a single fibroid or removal of multiple fibroids. If the fibroids are multiple, if they are uh, causing any hindrance to the fertility potential or could affect the growth of the baby in the later uh, part of the gestation, it is advisable to remove the fibroid. Many a times it becomes very difficult to remove all the fibroids. So it is not necessary that you remove all the fibroids. If the fibroids which are away from the endometrial cavity and which will not cause any undesirable effects on the fertility outcome, these fibroids can be left in. Role of medical treatment in fibroid is unfortunately very limited. There are different drugs which are available, but they have uh, a very short-lived action. Like the simple drugs, the like oral contraceptive pills could be used and they help in decreasing the size of the fibroid or in some cases GnRH analog which are available in a depot formulations they can be used the depot can be used at monthly intervals or it can be used at three monthly interval also but the major drawback of the depot injection is it cannot be given more than three to six months if the patient is given depot injections for a period of more than six months the patient will have symptoms of menopause and she will have symptoms like osteoporosis back pain and joint pain and also she can have vaginal uh, symptoms like dryness of vagina vaginal infection and uh, sexual discomfort in this group of patients very few centers they have the facility of uterine artery embolization where you directly embolize the uterine artery which is feeding the fibroid so when the artery is blocked the blood supply to the fibroid is blocked and eventually the fibroid size shrinks and this fibroid become asymptomatic but all these things depends upon the uh, reproductive outcome uh, the reproductive potential of the patient and the fertility desire of the patient pregnancy with fibroids can happen and majority of the time the pregnancy is uneventful but if the fibroid is too close to the uterus or if it is very much increasing in size during the course of pregnancy it can cause uh, bleeding during pregnancy it can cause preterm labor and premature delivery in some cases we have seen the fibroids undergoing complications during pregnancy like red degeneration where the patient presents with very severe acute pain in the abdomen with pregnancy inside the uterus and the treatment in this group of patients is symptomatic we manage with uh, bed rest, some antibiotics and some uh, painkillers. There is no specific treatment for red degeneration or other complications in a fibroid during pregnancy. You just need to buy time, the pregnancy increases in size, the patient delivers and later in the postpartum period when the patient is completely recovered from pregnancy then you can reassess the uh, size and location of the fibroid and if it is causing Further symptoms onto the female, these fibroids could be removed surgically.